Well, a mosaic more than twice the size of the typical San Diego apartment will soon be installed at one of the city's most beautiful beaches. New at 5 o'clock, our tenders reporter John Horn explains why the artist hopes it will make a much larger impact. The iconic Scripps Pier stretches more than a thousand feet over the ocean at La Jolla Shores. It also serves as a starting point for a new mosaic that maps the wildlife in and around the 1900 foot deep canyons under the water. This is a representation of the kelp forest. Wick Alexander is one of four artists who laid down upwards of 500,000 pieces of glass and porcelain over the last year. They created this 2,400 square foot mosaic, which shows everything from fish to stingrays to whales. When someone sees something and loves it, they want to know more about it, and they also want to protect it. Right now, the mosaic's tucked away inside a building in the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. In a few months, crews plan to install it at Kellogg Park at the shores, on a spot a smaller oceanic mosaic once occupied. The original mosaic was right here where I'm standing. In fact, this plaque behind me commemorates its dedication back in 2008. But that mosaic began to crack and had to be removed. That's where this new, much bigger one comes in. Renowned oceanographer Walter Monk, one of the project's main backers, says he hopes the mosaic makes a lasting impression. People who don't dive and don't really realize can get a chance to see what's going on. All the sea life is just right out there. Ripe for rediscovery in La Jolla's backyard. John Horn, 10 News. Walter Monk and his wife, Mary, they have donated more than $300,000 to the project through their foundation. They hope to raise $500,000 to cover the remainder of the work and the installation.